Our city club, welcome back to another classic. I like man here, juggle this team. Oh, oh, Curry beating him in the bucket. We're getting in there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first official trade of the Louisville Badgers. Technically, we've made a trade before, but this is like the the first real trade, okay? Okay. Nikki Alexander Walker and Ayo Desumu, whose name I can't pronounce, but that's part of the reason why we're trading him. Uh, for Jordan Poole and Kevon Looney. Looney we've had in a couple other series before, but we need another big man to really help us out with some depth. We need Jordan Poole because I like his shooting and his style. I think he'll fit a little bit better than what Alexander Walker will. And I like his ceiling a little bit more. We're making the trade official. So that trade's a big deal, and it's a big deal because we're moving Kevon Looney from center to power forward. I think he fits a little bit better because he's six foot nine. Allows us to have a double big lineup, which I think will be fine here. Lineup is, is going as follows. Patty Mills, Seth Curry, Terrence Mann, Zach Collins, Willie Cauley Stein, Jordan Poole will be our sixth man right off the bench. Kalen Horton Tucker, Kevon Looney again playing power forward now. Uh, Sengun, Omaro, Highland, Isaiah Todd, and Lozada. Again, we don't really have a backup point guard as much, but Poole can definitely play that point guard spot, which he definitely will for this team. We'll work on getting that, but our lineup feels a lot more balanced. But again, more work to be done on the point guard side. All right, so we're picking things up here on Divas. We're playing the Chicago Bills in the first official game in franchise history. I'm excited to get it going. See where guys will do. Patty Mills again running this offense. Terrence Mann out here. Chicago Bulls, super talented, way better than they've been. We're going to Willie Coley sign down in the post, see if we get any doubles. I'm against Vucevic. And it's just like we thought it was going to be. Oh, my God. Levine out here in the edge. Got Jordan pulling the game now. A lot of our bench guys coming to see what they can do. I like oh, it's gonna be how we match up with the Chicago Bulls. It's just a little tough. Double screen here. DeRozan trying to get it going. Coley Stein. I get in the block. Patty Mills looking for that screen. Oh, Vucevic again. Not great. Patty, what are you doing? We have Patty Mills on Vucevic. This is not exactly ideal for a lot of reasons. Trying that little pick and roll again. Last time Patty Mills played it perfect. It's just he tried to dunk when he didn't need to. Levine and Poole should be a fun matchup too. We need Collins to get this man a screen though. Shot clock winding down. Jordan Poole dumps it off to the big man. Big man has to taste, throws it up and just Chicago Bulls are having their own block party and we can't buy a bucket. And we're young. I get it, but man, we got to do better. Bulls are probably a really tough matchup to come up against defensively first just because all they have are dudes that can stop on defense. Island double down to Sangoon. See what he has. He's talented, but he just we're just in shambles right now. Get a screen for the big fella. One of a prayer. Great shambles. Dylan Horton Tucker intercepted by his former teammate Alex Caruso. Caruso pushing the break here. They dump it out of the big man and DeRozan. The big man gets that easy. All right, here in the second quarter, we're down 12. Is that? Ideal, no, but can our guys get something going here? I'm hoping. Patty pulls. No. Oh, Willie Cauley sign. Nice interception. Get that one up here. Tamers man pulling. What? I just, we got to figure out something offensively because we have been in shambles. We just have defensive dudes nonstop. That's the hard part. Tamers man, we're pulling. Oh, that's. The timing's off in this video. We will get a bucket. Patty with the dribble drive. Got to run some plays too. Not running plays is kind of killing us at the moment. Yay! Hello? Uh oh, Curry beating him to the bucket. We better give a shot in. About time. Sangoon just looks low. Oh, actually, you know what? He did, uh, he did okay there on defense. I'll give him props. Patty's trying to get to the bucket. Hey, look. Don't dunk it, okay? Patty, do layups. That's what you're born to do. First half's winding down. We haven't really been great. We're giving up buckets left and right. Defense is non existent. We got a hodgepodge of dudes we've sort of just put together on a team and been praying they can actually do something and it's not working. But I'm not surprised. Curry's dropping. If that was anybody else other than Kevon Looney, I probably would have shot it. Let's see what the young fella can do here. Nice drop step. Okay, potential. So the first half is a 43 to 59 shellacking. Unless we're a second half team, we're taking a nail in our first ever game. I'm not surprised, but we're seeing our holes already. I gotta be honest. I don't hate how we played in the first half. Boy, good Lord, I don't love it. You know, there wasn't a lot to necessarily be proud of. We're gonna be a heavy pick and roll team. Our guys just gotta find dudes like that. 
buy stuff like that, we're gonna be okay. Yeah, hold on now. Cut the lead to single digits. Squad is out here playing, okay? Second half team. Better put some respect on our name. Jordan Poole's got 10 right now, one of our top scorers in the game. I know that's not anything to be happy about, but still, 10 points is 10 points. And DeRozan turned the clock back 10 years. Tomorrow's in, running the offense. Again, a crafty player, but he's not really a great shooter yet. And we don't really have a lot of great shooters, which is, I think, one of the frustrating parts for our squad. We can get to the bucket, though. Collins is having a really good game. 16 points. I need more rebounds from him, though. I want him to go to the other side, but we'll take the third foul on Tony Bradley. Much like you probably expected, though, this lead has uh, only grown for Chicago. Like, we're pretending if we really think we're going to do anything crazy out there. I see you, big fella. Nope. Our squad is getting... <laughs> we are getting... Get him, Willie! Oh! Kellen Horton Tucker, I see you, big fella. Aaron Spann's had five tonight, which... Honestly, I thought he would have been one of the few guys I could have bet on to be in double digits. We're about to have double digits turnovers the way we're playing right now. This is a shellacking. There it is. 138 to 106. The first game ever in Louisville Badger history. It's what we want to forget and quick. Recapping the stats from the game. Levine dropped 39 and 4. Vucevic had 24 and 17. DeRozan went to town with 24, 4 and 9. Alizé Johnson had 15 and 7. Kobe White at 14. There's not a lot to love from our team, but a lot to love from what they did. On our side, Taylor Horton Tucker dropped 21, four and seven on eight for 13 shooting. He had a pretty efficient night. It's just couldn't get a lot of other guys going. Zach Collins was really good in 20 and two, but again, I need our power four to be a little bit more active on the boards. Patty Mills had 11 and one with only four assists, had a couple of turnovers. Willie Cauley Sine had 11 and five. Jordan Poole had 10, one and three. He didn't score after we saw him score earlier. So Bulls are a very tough defensive team. Let's hope our next game against a less defensive team works out better we have ourselves a much needed home game but the downside is this against trey young and company trey young again one of the most electric players in the league but no one is giving the hawks really you know any awards for defense right now they have some defensive players right clint capella hunter's not a bad defender cam reddish coming off the bench is a really good defender for them too but there should be a much easier team defensively than what we just faced in the chicago bulls now what a great move Okay, I see Terrence Mann trying to get to the bucket. Okay, okay, let's back this thing up real quick. Put it in reverse, Terry. Okay, we gotta get rid of it. Another screen for him. I like Mann here, jumping it off, and let's go. We're on the board. Stop the game, we're winning. This might be the latest we've ever held a lead, I'm gonna be honest. Kind of blown away. Curry's got him moving a little bit. Kyle's got him with the Hezzy. Didn't expect Beat that man shot like he owed him money. All right, let's see what Collins has to the free throw line. I'm loving it. All right, another one here for Collins. And one. We'll take it. Ball on line. We talked a little bit of trash, and then all of a sudden, Atlanta says, oh, excuse me. They went on a little bit of a run. DeLon Wright pulling up. That's not going to go in. Kevon Looney doesn't know what a rebound is, but we see some goon end up getting that one. And Jordan pulls some nice moves here. Bulamaro's going to pull up on a Tuesday. Look, let's not forget Atlanta is a top team in the East, okay? Say what you want, but... With Trey Young and company, every team they really makes a playoff push. New York Knicks fans, we hate the fact that I'm saying that, but it's true. You know it. And that bucket shows it. Right, we're finally getting some sort of plays going here. Curry driving. Dump this one off to Willie Coley. Stein who goes up over Capella. Can't get it. Capella makes a great attempt. Oh, look at that great black. Hey, Collins is a dog, man. He's been playing great defense so far. I like what he's bringing. Terrence Mann. He's got a really tough assignment here. I mean, he's not really a guy known for inside, but I'm trying to get Hunter in foul trouble. In here to Curry. Bogdanovich should be barbecue chicken, honestly, against Curry. I want a screen for him. Curry's pulling. We need a three. Oh my God, Collins with another block. This dude's an animal. We got Curry in the corner. That's barbecue chicken. All day. Look, man, we're, we're a team that's trying to be competitive out here. Okay, we got a lot of different things we could do. Not a lot of them are great. Oh, I got to stop shooting with man like that. What am I doing? Benny Mills getting the offense going. We got a nice screen here from Collins. Oh, Mills all day. Oh. Okay, apparently not all day. Oh, my God. What are we doing here? Collins misses that one. We're going to keep it moving. 
Ooh, Terrence may have the nice little hezzy. Try to get himself baseline, and we're just ruining that man's shot percentage. We tried a lot, but look, the Hawks are a better team. They're a top team in the East. We had a pretty solid start, but it's just been downhill since then. They have a 14-point lead. They got Gallinari in the game. Under a minute left, Lou Williams driving in. Great defense by Poole. and Goons going to get in there in the block, but we left Herder wide open, which is always going in. Oh, my God. We got a double screen here. Say less. I don't really like the matchups we have. Right back here for Bones. Taking over here to Poole. We'll hit him with a step back. I like that. I like that. We're going to have time down 15. This feels a lot like the first game, but... At least we hit a three earlier. Second half picking up. Got the lead to 12 already here in the third quarter. About five minutes left. Look, we are not in the business of winning a ton of games. We are 0-2 coming into this game. Likely going to be 0-3 after this one. But still, I'm just trying to find some positive things we can have. Collins has been an absolute stud offensively and defensively. I love how he's been playing. There's no way that Trey Young is actually this good on defense. And this one up top. Back here to Bomaro. Okay, we literally had no business driving there. Willie Coley side. Let me see that jumper. No. Mills has played solid today, though. He's got 14, 1, and 2. But again, our guys can't really shoot. There's not a lot of, you know, jump shots to be had. And we're just in mismatch heck right now. Eddie Mills should be able to absolutely blow by Clint Capella, but Clint Capella apparently is a lockdown defender. Superstar difficulty is no joke for someone like me. Trey Young's making. We should have lobbed it. We should have lobbed it. Technical foul on him. I hate it here. All things considered, though, this is a single digit game. I mean, no longer because we just gave him an easy two, but it was a single digit game. We can just play defense. That's our. I mean, we have a lot of problems. Offense being the main one, but. Thank you. Hello. Oh my God! Thank you, Zach Collins. I, honestly, Zach Collins really is the heart and soul of this team. But, oh, Terrence oh! Mann scored. Let's get it. Oh, the Trey Young, Trey Young show. It's starting. Yep, it's starting. Curry's got 16 fours. Our starters just aren't playing bad, man. Like these dudes are really putting it in there. Nikola Stein with a little 10 and 8. I'll take that from him every single night. Zanguno top. Capella has been a fun matchup so far tonight. Harris man kicks it out here to Seth Curry. Harris man should be able to absolutely cook Gallinari, but Gallinari apparently regained his ability to be a competent defender. Don't know when that ever happened. Why is it not a layup? Seth Curry not taking the screen, dumps it over to Looney. In the back up top, Curry's pulling in his face. Curry's a known for that, but. We just can't hit it. You can tell that we're losing it. We aren't quite close it. The team chemistry, not exactly there. Curry trying to get to the bucket. We're trying to get some foul trouble, but we just cannot hit a shot to save our lives. Sean Highland, the ball now. Capella has been playing screens unbelievably well, but say goal 20 and five for the big fella. This man can play. About two and a half minutes left. This game is all but over. Trey Young's dropped 30 on us still. That's not terrible considering what Trey Young could do, but it's not great. Oh, Collins all the way. <laughs> I mean, we needed more fouls than DeAndre Hunter a long time ago, but still solid. The team doesn't have much of an identity outside of just giving up points. Pools has 17. It's been a solid night for him. I mean, if we can't just abuse Trey Young right here, then I don't know what to say. Like, it's Trey Young, you know? You got him on the block, just put it up there, unless you're Ben Simmons. So the official stat line is we're going to lose by 13 to the Atlanta Hawks. Again, a top team in the Eastern Conference. We lost by double digits, but still. I saw some progress tonight. Look at how we play today. Jordan Poole led us all with 21 tonight, but again, no assists. So, or excuse me, one assist, two turnovers, eight for 12 from shooting. Not terrible, but I think a lot of our problem is our guys are hitting outside shots, which is why we don't have a lot of assists. Patty Mills at 21 and three. Sengun at 20 and five with two blocks. Seth Curry has 16, three and three. Willie Coley Stein had 12 and eight. Again, he's playing pretty well for us right now. Look, Zach Collins didn't have a ton tonight, but the dude had three big blocks. Four assists, five rebounds, seven. I don't need him to have a ton, but contributing like he is right now is good for me. And then there's the obvious. Trey Young absolutely killed us. 32, five and 12 with three steals. I mean, he was everywhere and anywhere he wanted to be tonight. He got it. Gallinari had 20 off the bench for them. Herder had 16. Capella had 15 and a Lou Williams had 14 off the bench. 
there are a lot of places we have to get better defensively i think is the primary one but again this is year one our goal is to get a couple of draft picks make a splash and get some guys that can help us for the next couple of years be safe be smart tell somebody you love them catch you guys on the next one